Hello friends, I welcome you to this class. And to this class, I will show you how can you make use of quality TPTA analysis software for file extraction. This is a file, I've imported it of course. Yeah, if you want to work on any file, it's better to import it. So you can do it, yes, if what I did, I imported the PDF file. So this is a PDF file. Now, if you look at this PDF file, now, Look at this email addresses. If you want to copy these email addresses, you discover that there's formatting issue. Now, what I mean is that the attempt to co copy only the email address extend to, to all the area. So this will affect you know, what you want to achieve. So that means what you can do now is either to copy it one after the other, which is gonna be cumbersome. Take your time, especially when you have a large files. Yeah, this just few pages I think just two pages and sometimes you can have 10 pages 12 pages 100 pages are you gonna be copying one after the other no so what do you do after this so the first thing you have to do is convert this PDF to tests within this mask in the environment right click when you right click insert PDF test as new document so when you do that you get this format yes then we need to move forward so after this what is the next thing to do yeah what you have to do is now you have to search you have to search for the email address now when you check this you go back to the pdf when you check the pdf where uh, the email addresses you will discover that most of them end with yahoo.com yahoo gmail so look for the common yeah this email uh, these email addresses and you can see that what is common to all of them yahoo so in other words, we have yeah we have gmail yahoo.co.uk so that's a common the other one if there are not many you can actually copy it out now and the essence of this is so that you can save your time click on test search and auto code test search and auto code now you see new entry so type the this uh, email service provider at gmail.com that is the first one you can continue move to by press the tap button at yahoo.com press the tab button at yahoo.co.uk now after that you can run a search so what we are trying to tell the software is uh, check the what for and before you do that yes let me do something now, because we have two documents we have the pdf and we have the word file so if you run it like this it's going to run on the two documents so instead of doing that what you have to do is activate this oh uh, yes activate this document uh, use your left hand to press the control button and press this here and click on it once so so we are trying to do like you're activating this to only you only want to work with this document in other words the search will not include the pdf file so in document you can see it. so don't forget to click only in activated document so i want the search within the activated document run search so when you run search so this is the outcome okay for that you have to save it click on this because this is what you, the, these are the search strings you, know, you may not you may change it maybe just put him address but that's not the major thing so click on okay now you will see this dialog box and that's the essence why uh, we have to convert it to document because if you don't convert it to word file if it's only pdf file that you only have access to the Test and table document only sentence and paragraph. And what you want to achieve, you would need only such item which is available when you have document file. So that is essence why you have to convert from PDF to Word file. Is all right. So what you have to do now? This is you want to search for those here that handle Gmail. Now, not when you search, you want to instruct the software to include the word one word yeah and that's going to be the email address of that person for example joseph 
at gmail.com. Initial list go to capture at gmail.com at gmail.com. So when I insert the by the this is the default setting that when I insert the software, only the search one word before another word is going to capture the name of the fellow with the email address. For example, Joseph at Jacob, whatever the name at gmail.com. Okay, so we know with that auto code. Okay, so you can close this. So when you close it, so you can come back here. So this is the result. You can double click. So when you double click, check the preview. That's all. Can you see? Conlemat at gmail.com. So that is the essence. So that look kind. That is what the software did for us to, for easy extraction. So what you have to do now, you can highlight Control A, highlight yes. We align it. You can click on access just to save it. Save. So this is it. And just move here. Can scroll to the area where that is needed. So what is really needed is a segment. Can you see segment? You can copy it. Copy it. Now open notepad, paste it. So you can use it to your email address and send it. So it's very simple as it's so that's one of the advantages of using this mass QDH is very important. And it's one of the most tools for researchers. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. And for the bell, you can click on the bell so that you can get alert for our subsequent uploads. Thank you for watching.